Hi everybody, this is Dark Onion. I am doing a video tutorial on how to use my adbdl.sh file for the Droid 2 root. Uh, what this script file does is um, downloads a Android SDK for your Linux or uh, Mac OS machine and it sets it up for you and launches the update utility. After it does that, after you close your update utility, um, it will ask you to uh, root the f if you would like to root your phone um, using the uh, easier one two three uh, Droid two root. Um, yeah, so here you have my desktop with uh, Linux Ubuntu. I have downloaded the adb uh, dl dot sh. Uh, all you gotta do for Linux is double click it and it's gonna ask you if you want to run the file or run in terminal. Uh, for you guys on the Mac, you guys probably won't have this so we're gonna do it in the, the old-fashioned way. So what you want to do first is uh, open up your terminal okay, and you want to navigate to your directory that the file is in. So uh, mine is in the desktop so we're gonna enter we're gonna go ahead and um, navigate to that alright next we're gonna, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to change mod the file so we gotta change the user permissions so as you can see it says AD, adbdl.sh so if you change mod ch mod space 0755 space adbdl.sh okay press enter okay now we're going to go ahead and launch it dot slash adbdl.sh okay and run okay so now here you have um, the script is going to detect your operating system and then it's going to start downloading the all the files you need. So um, while it's downloading, I'm going to give uh, you an idea of what the script does. So what it's going to do is it's going to download your the appropriate Android SDK folder or file. Um, it's going to extract it and then it's going to download the do root.sh. Um, there's already a video out on this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna refollow the steps, but I will walk you through on how to update the um, the Android SDK, which you need to do. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put up all the information in the information box down below. So just take a look at that, and yeah. So here we are. A uh, few more seconds. Um, and then we're going to start moving on to the next step. So as you can see we're doing this all in real time. Uh, it should be pretty quick. Almost done. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now it's extracting. Download a bunch of files. Uh, read this here, and this, all instructions are here right on the command prompt. Okay, now it's gonna. Uh, for you, for you Ubuntu users uh, or Linux users, you need to have open Java to open the. Uh, the UI. So here it goes. Okay. So this top one right here says SDK platform Android 2.2 API 8. Make sure that it says accept and then you can uncheck all the other ones right here. So reject all the other ones. Okay. So there's a bunch of them. Just reject all the other ones. You don't need to download those. Okay. So even these two. Okay. And then you would install. And after this I'm not going to update this because it's going to take a while, but once you finish installing, right? Once you finish installing, just close this. 
right? And then it's going to prompt you, do you want to, would you like to begin reading your phone? From there, make sure you plug in your phone, um, put it in the PC mode or charge only mode, mode with USB debugging enabled, and just press 1 and press enter, and it will enter the do root.sh file. So it's going to load up the, the rooting files. So yeah, that's it. Um, pretty simple. Um, yeah, uh, please refer to the other video to um, to make sure you root your phone correctly on Linux and Mac. All right, later.